I will catch them all. You got that right. Hello. I hope you're doing well. That is a threat. You're damn right. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. My name is Brendan Bigley. It's wonderful to be back. Uh, I unlocked a new region, which does mean another stream of me fawning over all the new Pokemon you, you can get there. Um, I do want to be clear also that I have done a little bit of exploration in that area off stream. Um, because there was one Pokemon in particular I did need to find uh, so I could unlock new hairstyles. Of which I uh, decided to choose none. I unlocked the new hairstyles and then kept my hair, but just uh, changed the color so it matched my shoes. Because this is a fashion game as much as it is anything else. Um, I also do want to mention that I have been changing my outfit with every new region I explore. Not to match the region, really, uh, but I just thought that that'd be a fun ritual. Uh, how am I doing on items before I go out? I should probably check that out. Grinding for hairdos, absolutely. Gonna be honest. Uh, wish I'd taken Rowlet. Rowlet's good. I mean, and look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Like, cool dude. You know? Let's uh, go in here real quick. Just take a look at some items. I also want to make sure I have the right Pokemon with me. Yeah, see, I have some stuff I don't need here. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Uh, let's take a look at this. Do a little bit of item management before we head out. You know, I have 45 leaden balls with me. I have to work my way through these 54 heavy balls first. Which is uh, a lot. It's a lot to deal with. 95 Apricorns. 9 Medicinal Leaks means I can make some... Do I need more revives? I've been, I've been like, churning through revives. Which is uh, kind of surprising. I didn't really think that that would be a thing I was going to need this much of. But uh, there are certain instances in which you do need a lot of revives. Who would have thunk it? Uh, ooh, I wonder what this does a glassy black stone that produces a sharp cutting edge when split i have a theory a game theory i have a theory that this uh gets me the axe version of scyther i'm gonna give that a shot real quick actually my problem with syndical there are a ton of good ghost types and not a ton of great fighting types um yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. So, uh, current crew that I have with me. My Rowlet all grown up. Uh, I just evolved a Haunter into a Gengar, which uh, kind of goes against my ethos because I'm I Haunter's my favorite Pokemon. But I was like, it's time for you to grow up. You've been with me for a long time. Uh, so Gengar it is. Pikachu I have with me for a while. Um... I'm hoping to find a Thunderstone, but generally speaking, I just thought it was good to have like a good electric type, so um, Pikachu stays with me. Uh, Skorupi, I'm trying to evolve at the moment. They evolve at level 40. Uh, Togepi needs to evolve um, uh, through friendliness and kindness, so uh, Togepi just has to hang out with me until they want to evolve. And then a Magikarp I just caught. Uh, and generally speaking, they evolve at level 20 in uh, other games, and I'll be curious to see if that is true in this game. Uh, but all of that having been said, I am going to move Magikarp over here real quick so I can get a Scyther out and see if they evolve when I give them that thing. And uh, if they don't, then I'll just Google it later and I'll find out. Don't we all evolve through kindness? You got that right. All right. Compatible. Dude, let's do it. Yeah. It's a fun way to start the stream. How 
Hell yeah. That's pretty tight. What, uh, what's your whole deal? Bug and rock. Nice. That's pretty cool. Quick attack, silver wind, aerial ace, and double hit. It's a good, uh, it's a good crew. Uh, unfortunately, you're going right back into the pasture. Uh, I like you, but, I mean, Magikarp is where it's at right now. Uh, the other Pokemon that I've been bringing with me a lot is this Arcanine that I got, uh, who I love dearly, but they went back in the box for now. Um, also, Empoleon, I just evolved. Um, another thing I've noticed is that you can find starters from other games around. So, like, that Piplup I found and evolved into Empoleon. I found a Churchwig recently that I'm very excited to evolve. Uh, and I'm wondering where the other ones are hiding. So, cool stuff on the horizon. Anyway, that's enough preamble. Let's uh, head out into the world and check out this new spot and uh, see how we feel about it. I feel like between uh, Decidueye, Gengar, and Pikachu, we're in like a pretty good spot in terms of like keeping ourselves alive. But uh, anyway, off to... Oh, shit. A mass outbreak of Haunter? Is it worth it? Nah. Because I was just thinking, like, oh, maybe I get a shiny Haunter, but eh, it's fine. Uh, let's go to the Highlands camp. Do you think it's holding those big stone axes, or are they part of its hands? Oof, great question. It's a great question. Oh, yeah, I want to do some crafting before we leave, too. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, how many of these can I make? Five. That's not worth it. Eleven great balls, though. Fine by me. Uh, I like Great Balls more than... I mean, I like the Ultra Ball design more than all the other Pokeballs, but uh, Great Balls I've been using a lot of in this game, and I've been very appreciative of their existence. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to make one of these, as many of those as I can make, uh, and as many of those as I can make. Cool. Where does that leave us? Yeah, that's, that's not a bad spread. Uh, I have a lot of Pokeballs, too, which I have to work my way through. Wow, we're back. We're out here. Uh, so I, I truly haven't done like that much exploring. Like Although I have a lot of this area unlocked, I had to go through a cave for like a story reason uh, to unlock this whole area. Um, but I just needed to go up here to get a specific ghost Pokemon. But outside of that, I haven't really seen what's going on in here. Um, although I did catch a Magikarp here as well. So I don't really know what this area has to offer still. And uh, that's exciting. That's the best part of this game. Here's a statue. Statue of a Clefairy, it looks like. You're so much further ahead in progression than I was uh, when I beat the story quest. Oh, yeah, I'm... Where am I? Six stars in. I'm getting pretty close to seven, honestly. I think by the time I'm done catching a bunch of stuff here, we'll be there. Um, yeah, I... I've mentioned this on the show a lot, not just about this game, but also about this game. Um, I just, like, can't help myself but spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just doing the, like, explore and hang out and check things out loop, which makes for great low-key streaming experiences like this, definitely, um, but um, doesn't make for... Uh, doesn't make for a uh, quick story experience. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Ooh. Beautiful. I didn't realize I was shaky. Oh my god, is this Togepi about to just like completely get rocked? Rocked! Silly. <laughs> Should I throw Magikarp out there? Uh, we're gonna use Decidueye. 
Poor Togepi. Get some friend, uh, friendly points, I guess, from uh, it just like existing out there, which is good. Uh, owned. Okay, I don't need to fight every graveler or every every gold bat that uh, I see in the world. It's not necessary. Uh, I am gonna use a potion on my Togepi though. So I can throw it at those Apricorns. So I can make more Pokeballs. Okay. I'm getting attacked on all sides here. This is not fun. Okay, we get it. Uh, let's do this. Crowagunk? I didn't know there was a Crowagunk emote. That's pretty sick. There are 18 wisps remaining in this area. All right. What is this on the side of the mountain here? Is that a Pokemon or is that an item I can get? Curious. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here. Oh, well, first of all, is there anything behind the waterfall? It's a video game after all. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not so much, huh? Oh, you know what, though? I need this, because that's how I make revives, and we're out of here. Alright, so, I'm going to venture forth into this cave here, which has a bunch of stuff. So there's like a story thing that brought me through the cave, but they didn't really let me explore the cave, and I'm really curious to see what's going on here. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody, by the way. It's very nice to have you all here. Uh, I think the audio levels are fine, but if they're not, let me know. What's going on here? This is a pretty cool area. It's cool that they just, like, put a regular-ass cave in here. What is that? Oh, I have one of you already. Oh, look at that. See, that's cool. Whop. Audio's good. Nice. Thank you. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Well, I am very interested in... Uh... Do I have berries? Yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. You're just coming for me, huh? Okay. Let's uh, throw a Pikachu out there. Oh. Throw a Pikachu there. Um, we could just do this. All right. So this guy is electric type, right? Isn't that like part of his deal? Uh, we're at the same level. Let's try this. We'll do strong, swift. Hopefully, don't kill it. Oh, I didn't even get close. Um. Oh man, this guy's flying. Uh, it's rough. It does. It doesn't feel good. I'll say. Uh, we're gonna do an agile style magical leap. Sorry, my guy is flying, is what I mean. 
Uh, that did not go well. I did want to catch that Pokemon, and uh, I sure am not. Oh, shit. Yee! Goodbye. What? Okay, on the plus side, there um, is a base camp right over here that I unlocked. Oh. God, everything wants to fight. Always. Not everything needs to be a fight, man. It's possible to be chill. Come on. Hey. That worked out. Uh, what's up here? I have no idea what's up here. Oh, the base camp. I have some idea what's up here. Wow. Let's see what's down there. We got a gold duck sleeping. Oh, Magikarp can evolve. Oh, hell yeah. Level 20. Look at that. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, let me just check real quick. Number of times you've seen it use splash. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh, before we get rid of our Magikarp, they're going to do battle. Get ready, Magikarp. Well, killing my Magikarp was definitely unnecessary. Yeah, the Magikarp portrait is awesome. about this uh, did we get that magic carp thing yes good all right so we'll go to the base camp heal up and uh, get us a Gyarados Oh, there's a fight to be had in here. Um, let's go Gengar. Heracross. That's fun. Um, Venoshock? Hmm, no poison, huh? No effect on Gengar. Love that. Uh, you know what? Heavy Ball. This has been my move. I use Heavy Balls when I'm in combat because uh, they're so like unwieldy and annoying to use in the wild. But they're like pretty good because they're so unwieldy. Uh, and that means you have a pretty good chance. So I just use them for uh, battles because distance doesn't really matter. Yeah, Gengar's gigantic. Haunter's huge, too. The day I realized how gigantic Haunter, uh, Haunter was was a really fun day. All right. Magikarp, evolve. You bet. Let's do it. Sure, ask away. Thanks for listening to the show. Gyarados has an idea for a new move. I sure hope so. Oh, like a lot of them. That's pretty cool. Twister. Uh, bite. And uh, we could probably do away with Splash. Cool. Nice. 
Uh, I am curious what Gyarados's like whole deal is in here. Number you've caught? Uh-huh. Number you've caught while they were in the air. I have seen one flying around. Uh, number of times you've seen it use Hurricane. I don't have that yet. Okay. Interesting. So I probably won't focus on Gyarados right now, but good to know. Uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. Gyarados. It's been cool. Um, I am very interested in evolving that Turtwig I found. I think I just went by it. I have to organize my boxes. Oh my god. There it is. Nice. Cool. Does mobility during these Pokemon battles actually matter? Is it more just a flavor to make it seem more engaging? Um, it matters in the sense that if you get in the way of an attack, it will hurt you. Uh, so positioning can be important in that sense. Um, but like where you're at, or sorry, um, yeah, where where you're at generally doesn't seem to matter. You can also just like run. Like, so there is the run button, as usual, in Pokemon battles, but you can just, like, physically move your body away from the battle, and it'll be like, you ran away. Which is cool. I find that more immersive, more interesting. Um, I actually just evolved one of these guys into an Ursa Ring the other day. And by the other day, I think I mean, like, maybe earlier today or at some point yesterday. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. Her twig can evolve already. It's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, let's evolve then. A lot of evolution already. Got a Scyther. Magikarp. Turtwig. I maybe should have checked to see if I needed to do anything else with it first, but, um... Hmm. Am I gonna have regrets? Does anyone else sometimes forget the alphabet? Times you've given it food. Ah, well, I'd have to see one in person for that, unfortunately. Okay. So next time I run into one, uh... I know where they spawn, which is helpful. Wow, this music's good. The variety in terms of music quality in this game is uh, pretty shocking. Oh, man. We are absolutely getting a picture of this. Hello. Bye. I haven't gotten far into the game yet. Is Pokemon breeding in this game? Uh, not that I've seen. What is this? This is a cool spot. Was that a bronze zone? Okay, it was. Uh, as I have said, or as I said in the last stream, um, I'm gonna try and like avoid story stuff but it's possible that a story thing might start like if i go through here but i also kind of need to go through here to be able to explore stuff so we'll play it by ear nice uh how's the story is there a defined end game request without badges i'm curious how game freak is handling it um yeah, the whole point of the game is you're just filling up the Pokedex, essentially. Um, and there is a story. I think the story is good. Uh, not great. You know, but good. I mean, it's... I would say there hasn't... There's maybe never been a good Pokemon story, if I'm being honest. And uh, 
this one has a good one. Which I think is very interesting. Uh, defined end game? I have no idea. I imagine it's just filling out the Pokedex, if I were to guess. Um, and quests, there's a lot of. A lot, a lot of quests. Uh, I can show you that as soon as I'm done with catching this thing. Boom. Nice. Cool. Um, okay, yes, quests. Uh, so I have this section. It's the missions section. So these are the missions, story missions. Uh, and then requests. And these are all side quests I can do. Um, and there are a lot of them. And some of them are a little involved. Um, so, uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff to do. Oh, wait. Star piece. Interesting. Hmm... Cool. Kids are made of wherever. <laughs> I agree uh, about the dialogue. I. The thing is, I'm playing so much of this game, like, per sitting, um, that there are times where I'm like, there's too much dialogue, and then other times where I actually don't really mind. Um, you know what, let's uh, throw a berry over there. Yeah, you should go eat that. Boop. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I, I'd, I'd say the, the story is pretty good compared to everything else in every Pokemon game uh, that I've played, but um, you know, your mileage may vary on that. Uh, I can go around. I don't have to go here. Well, let's do that. We'll avoid the story. Oh, look at more of these guys. Zoom. Oh, hello. Um, I actually have done this already in the past, and I'll do it again. Because uh, I wanted to avoid... Oh, shit. That story stuff. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Uh, this has been this difficult every time I've come up here. That way. All right. What do we got down here? Uh, Rhydons. So some Geodudes and Grapplers over there. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I, I have some instances where I'm playing the game and I'm like, oh man, there's way too much dialogue in here, and then other times where I don't really care as much. Um, so that's that's really gonna be. That's really gonna be uh, based on how you're feeling in the moment, I think. But um, if you're like me and you take as much time between <laughs> the story quests and stuff as I do. Uh, I won't really be that much of a concern, but yeah. You know, again, that's kind of up to your play style. Oh, shit. Uh, who's good here? You are. I might be wrong about that, actually. Now we're good. Oh, we're like really good. Sorry, Rhyhorn. I do feel bad uh, defeating Pokemon in this game. God, 
Pokemon can see you from so far away. I think it's like makes it really difficult sometimes. Uh, unless you throw a berry, for example. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh. Uh, let's try another berry. Come on. Come on. Wow. Hmm. Okay, here, here's, here's my thought. Another berry and Ultra Ball. There we go. Wow. <laughs> the animations on the Sonics are so funny. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, hello. Ah. All right, we're just going to zoom out of here. Um, this way. I want to get whatever this is. Doppel bonnets. Boots with the fur. <laughs> oh, you're playing Chrono Trigger. Wow. Is it your first time playing Chrono Trigger? Because, uh, man. It's a good video game. an alpha bronzong? I think it is. Hello. Oh, shit. Yeah, it sure is. Alright. Uh, let's see. This is this area that I haven't been to yet. Where, wait, where am I? Oh, I'm up here. Clamberclaw Cliffs. It's a fun name. Uh, let's see if we can get up onto this ridge. That'd be that'd be helpful. Uh, that's exciting. I'm glad you're playing Chrono Trigger. Then I'm I'm glad you're enjoying it too. That's great. Uh, how are my Pokemon looking? Everybody's good. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go this way real quick and see if we can, hello, ooh, an alpha, oh, yikes, oh, shit, <laughs> well, how about this? Uh, I don't know if this is going to happen, actually. This is a little steep, but maybe we'll get lucky. Or we'll get rocked by this gold duck. Ugh! Yeah, may maybe not. Maybe this isn't the move. All right. It was, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. We're out of here. Oh, actually. Does that curve all the way around there? I think it does. Which does mean... I think we can go up here instead. Yeah. All right. Hey, we made it up. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go buy all the carnivines. I'm, I gotta be honest. I think they're my like maybe my least favorite Pokemon in here. I don't want to be too cruel to a living creature just trying its best, but uh. 
they're uh they're just kind of annoying because they just keep they see you from so far away they always get immediately really upset with you and like I'm just trying to get through the area you know looking at uh oh yeah i wanted to see uh, see that's the problem i want to go over there okay let's see if we can slide down here without dying oh, yeah we're fine cool not bad uh all right head over this way grab this satchel over at it how about that Do you have any more lost satchels over here Fields, fields, marlins, marlins, coastlands. Ah, just the one. All right. Uh, where was that? It's over there. All right, we're going to have to uh, jump up the side of the mountain the way we did before, unfortunately. There are so many areas here that I have not seen yet. And I'm very excited to see what the rest of the Coronet Highlands has to offer. All right, let's grab the satchel first before anything else. These berries are apricorns. What do we got, apricorns? Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Uh, let's do that. Did I get him? Nice. Uh, you know what? Gotta use more of these. Oh. Yee. Goodbye. Alright. Hello. Oh my god, is that Sneasel? They made a version of Sneasel for this game? Okay. Okay. This is big for me. Because here's the deal. Favorite Pokemon, Haunter. Second favorite Pokemon, Drifloon. Third favorite Pokemon, Sneasel. And they made Sneasel purple. My favorite color. So... I don't know, this game, uh, it just was made for me, and it's very nice of Game Freak to do that. Oh, I whiffed. I whiffed. I don't know what uh, the type matchup is here. I'm just going to throw Pikachu in and see what happens. Wow, look at this Sneasel. Poison. Thirty-nine, forty-four. Okay, wait a second. This is, uh, I thought this was gonna be... Paralyzed. Okay, that's actually very helpful for me. So now what I can do is Heavy Ball. Wow, this is so exciting. Ooh! Beautiful! Wow. Thank you, Game Freak. Uh, let's get a berry ready to throw over there. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna run away. Goodbye. Actually, I, I do want this. Uh, you know what? While I'm at it, I want this too. Oh, this is where I caught Magikarp. Um, yeah, wait, what was the deal with Magikarp? Did I need anything else from them? No, right? Magikarp. No, we're good. That's great. Whoops. Um, all right. So that bag should be here. Here it is. Hey, Haunter. That's fun. My friend. Um, yeah, let's see what's down here. Zoom. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, why did they run away? Did, oh, do they only come out at night here? And now it's daytime. That's upsetting. You don't have space in your satchel for that item. Uh-oh. Um. Hmm. Man, I kind of wish there was uh, another base camp over here so I could just make it nighttime. Is that wood over there? Wood is like weirdly hard to come by, although now here's another one. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just hard to come by in some of the early areas. Uh, let's see this. We'll go after you, and then go after you. Oh. And then I want this fish. Oh, that was a great throw. Yeah, I mean, that was like... If they didn't give me that, it would have been very upsetting. Oh, I don't have enough space for the wood, which is important. Um, let's just use some experience candy then. On you. Yeah, there we go. Now you can evolve. Great. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. Now I can pick up this wood. I can throw Togepi at this. Uh, that also means there was some wood over there that I didn't get. I do need to get. Ooh, hello. Whoop. Oh, you want to fight? <laughs> uh, let's do that. A strong style air slash. Oh, I was almost in the way of that. That would have been bad. Ta da! Oh. 
Okay. Um, oh, man. I'm really up in the air about this because I do kind of feel like I should go back and, like, drop some items and do some crafting and stuff. But the act of getting back here is kind of annoying. It's not that bad. It's just that one thing I have to climb that's kind of annoying. It's probably worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. You know what? I can even make it nighttime and then come back here specifically. I'm actually even going to put a thing there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Item storage. Let's uh, sort all that stuff. Uh, dusk stone. Go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that. Just everything. Everything's going in. Except for... All my Pokeballs. Great. Now, we're going to do some crafting. Uh, how many revives can I make? Only two. That's really a bummer. <laughs> uh, 20 Great Balls. That, that feels good. I can make 142 Feather Balls? I don't need that many. How about this? I'll make... 32. That seems like a more normal number. Uh, and these I don't want to make any more of. All right. How many of you can I make? Four. That's fine. Uh, and this I should actually make. There we go. Cool. Now, is that wooden doll in here? Yes, it is. I don't need that. Um. Yeah. I think I think I feel good about that in terms of items. Let's swap some Pokemon out real quick because uh, I do not need this guy anymore. Um, I mean, I, should, I feel like I should bring Sneasel with me. What's Sneasel's deal? Number you've evolved. Uh, Let's see. Hmm. I just want to make sure I don't have to evolve it in a specific way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I can't evolve it without like a specific item, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. Uh, so let's figure out someone that we can evolve then, just by like them hanging out with us. Uh, it's on Porygon. Do Tentacool, get some water type in here. Might be helpful. Although I am missing having a fire type with me. But I think Vulpix just evolves through the fire stone. It might be fun to just have a Vulpix anyway. Why not? I like Vulpix a lot. Uh, but I am curious. Let's see if I just brought a fire stone. Because I think I have a bunch. Yeah. Nope, I just need one. If I were to use that, hypothetically, yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep it with me. And uh, I'll just evolve Vulpix when it feels right. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Let's uh, see and make sure what they have going on. Uh, number you've caught. Times you've given it food. Number you've evolved. Investigated about Vulpix from the Alolo region. Okay. I have not done that. That seems like a side quest that I uh, have not unlocked. So can't even really finish the Pokedex entry, unfortunately. Goomy. Steven, are you a Goomy head? I feel like you are. If you're a Crow Gunk head, I feel like that also means you're a Goomy head. I think I think the Venn diagram between those two Pokemon is just a circle. Vulpix is also cool. Thanks for giving me something, Steven. 
very nice of you to throw me a bone while you're playing in the mud with your crow -a gunk and your goomy. <laughs> you love Gudra. Gudra's pretty sick. I agree. If there's one place where we can all agree, it's uh, that Gudra is... Gudra. You're <laughs> the slime gym leader. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out... Because my... My taste in Pokemon is so weird. Why can't I get up here this time? Come on. This is way worse than last time. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to hold down the run button, too, and we'll see if that helps. I did this before. You all saw me do it. There we go. All right, we got to run to uh, the Clefairy Zone. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out what kind of gym leader I would be with my Haunter and... See, Haunter and Drifloon immediately implies ghost type. But then you throw Sneasel into the mix and uh, gets a little little less uh, obvious, you know? Oh, no! Yep. Hello? Nice. I'm actually very excited to have a Clefairy. It's pretty cool. The Alpha Clefable I am less into, if I'm being honest. Are you coming to attack me? Is that what's happening? Sure looks like it. Eee! That was scary. Uh-oh. You can try to use Flame Wheel. Hell yeah. Wow, great first outing for that Vulpix. That was, like, brutal. <laughs> uh, where? Oh. Okay, wait a second. Let's try that. Nice. It would be cool if there's a Cleffa around, but. Say la vie. Oh, there's a whole bunch over there, too. That place is uh, less crawling with things that can and want to kill me. Which uh, I feel much better about. Does Clefairy just want to hang? It, it seems like Clefairies don't really give a shit that I'm around. Do you not care at all? No, they just like me. That's nice. I've only watched this game on streams, but the sound that plays when you catch a Pokemon is stuck in my head forever. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in this game that, um, real earwormy. There we go. Uh, have I been in this direction? Not really. Hello. Guess I could throw a Pokeball there too. Oh, wood. Yes, please. Interesting how much of this area is blocked off by huge walls of rock. Can evolve? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. Nice. 
Now I forget what the I or I, I forget um how Togetic evolves. Because they do. I just don't remember how that works. Uh yeah, let's swap out that one. Yeah. I think I'm actually fine with fine with this. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, and ta-da. Cool. Yeah, see, I want to go up there. I just don't know. I don't know how. I can hypothetically go up. A, uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. That's just like a whole dude. <laughs> the face that Machoke made was actually really funny. All right. Um, yeah, I think if I go up here and then left, it, it, I should just be in this area. And then we can find out at least what's over here, which just looks like a bunch of haunters, which, you know, my kind of zone, TBH. All right, there's someone hiding in here. Let's find out who. Oh, you're too young for this. You're already gonna die. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Um, triple arrows. Just seems like a cool move. Yeah, that's a very cool move. Whoa! It survived! It's actually pretty impressive. I missed the Ghostwire Tokyo thing. Um, I saw it happened, like, right when I hit start streaming. Um, I'm very curious if that game is going to be good. <laughs> That was one of those ones that just, like, seemed like it could kind of go either way, you know? All right, so we want to go up here. I mean, if you're telling me Ghostwire Tokyo is campy, then, uh... Higher up on my list. Oh, hello. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go for that graveler just yet. But golem, golem. That's who that is. Dude, medicinal leaks. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that's nice. You're level 44. Interesting. I think I need to catch a Cherim for something. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. I haven't seen one yet. But I got a quest to fill out the Cherim Pokedex, like... Super effective. Uh oh. Let's uh, use a strong style magical leaf. I hope it doesn't die, but it might. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, you win some. You win some more than you thought you were gonna. That's what they say. Anyway, I really need this medicinal leak. It's weird that that has become the hot commodity for me. OK, 
because they're pretty abundant in the first area. But some things that are abundant in the first area are very much not abundant in future areas. Wow, we're like pretty close to uh, the danger zone here, huh? That's got to be Spear Pillar. Okay, we got like a Bronzong zone. A Bronze zone, as it were. Pretty fun. Hello. Why not catch one on the way, you know? You're in the area. Yeah, so is that like Spear Pillar before it broke down. Whoa. Check out this area. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's got to be... Yeah, this is where the the lord of this area lives. Uh, I'm not going to go, like, check... Oh, what if I did, though? If I just went in there, would it just, like, come out and try and attack me, or... Will it not show up until it's got a story reason to show up? Moonview Arena. Great name. I just want to see if there's, like, items here or something. Oh, you know what there might be, though? Uh, one thing that's in this game that I think is very fun... Because it always surprises me when I remember is uh, unknown. They have unknown in this game, and there is one of each, and they're hiding in all of the regions. Which is pretty cool. I've only found two of them so far. One of them that I found was like pretty obvious, and I found it pretty quick, but um, the second one I found, really made me wonder how I was going to find any of the other ones because it was so well hidden and this just feels like an area I would put an unknown if I was a game developer but uh, it doesn't seem like it this I've seen in a couple places too It's definitely uh, the Reggies, right? And that seems to be Arceus in the middle to the left. Palkia down on the bottom left. I'm trying to decide if that's Mew on the top right. And then this fiery bird, I'm not really sure. I mean, it might it might be like Moltres or something, but I don't think so. Either way, I've seen that's the second time I've seen that now, and uh, I'm excited to find out if it means anything. The funny thing about the unknowns is that they don't even make that there's not even like a sound, which I would have expected for a game like this for them to be like, like give it some kind of cue beyond just like catching it at the corner of your eye which is how I have found all the other ones so far the fun thing about unknown is that you can't fight them Ooh, who is that oh it's a Voltorb ouch ease that's okay no 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 Okay, okay, okay. We'll fight. You want to fight so bad. Tales of Arise did well with the Hoodle audio cues. I totally agree. Yes. Uh, what are you, level 27? Come on, man. Don't, don't get into a fight like this.
It, I just I just wouldn't recommend it. Like why? You know? Was that good? I don't think so. Let's uh, throw a little berry. A little berry action. Hell yeah. Very happy to have a Voltorb in the family. Oh, I like the way they move. Oh, no. No. Oh, yeah, yeah okay, you, you did see me. This is a little less, uh, a little less of a runaway. The Luxio. Oh, see, I was in the way and I got hit. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, hello. Hmm. Just walking around. Oh, did not catch it. All right, we're just gonna run then. Let's see what's in this vicinity. Oh, shit. This is interesting. Do Chinese hyper beam on me. I'm long gone, man. <laughs> Come on. Nose pass. Gligar. Catching so much stuff. This is so fun. Look at this area with the statue of Dialga. It's very interesting especially for a society that seems... Oh, and here's Palkia over here. Oh, hello. So there seems to be this, like... Oh. There's this misconception amongst the two tribes that live here that there's one god named Sinnoh which eventually becomes the name of the region that we're in although now it's called the Hisui region but the belief from both tribes is that on the pearl side Sinnoh is the god of space they're actually referring to Palkia over here and then the diamond team. Oh, I'm just in the place <laughs> where the distortion is. <laughs> that was wild. That was so scary. <laughs> that was a real gamer moment. Anyway, look at that. I got a Torterra. 
It's pretty cool. Anywho. Uh, I can't believe I, I just am here. <clears throat> Hello. I guess I should leave the space-time distortion area and then go back into it. I've had a lot of issues with the, the space-time distortions. Um, in that sometimes they spawn and then they just like don't work. Like I'll go into them and no new Pokemon will show up. There won't be any items. Um, and I've done some Googling. I haven't found anyone else who has that issue, which makes me think it's a bug that I've run into, but who knows. Uh, I think now's the time for Vulpix. Well, we're just evolving everyone on this stream tonight. Hell yeah. Man, I hope I can get an Alolan Vulpix too. That'd be really cool. Uh, nice to have a good fire type again though. All right. We're in the distortion zone. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. What do we got here? That's a nugget, right? Yeah, hell yeah. What is this? Oh, I don't have space in my satchel. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on a second. We got to dump some stuff. Everything that we're going to find here is way more important than everything that... Uh, What else can I get rid of? What do I feel okay about getting rid of? Balls of mud? I don't need that. Okay, I definitely don't need to favorite that. <laughs> uh, what a bug wart. Eh, discard it. Uh, let's see. Can we just like make some Pokeballs or something? Get some other stuff out of here? Sure. Great. All right. Should be a lot less stuff in the satchel now. A lot of room, a lot of room. All right, Magnemizer. What do we got here? We got an Eevee, an Octillery. Got some Stardust. Uh, is there another Pokemon here? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, I think you're the right Pokemon to fight you. Um, you're level 36. So I feel like I should probably take it easy. Oh, I did agile style. So it'd be like chill. Um, uh, Gengar's tricky. Uh, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll see how it goes. Burner, burner. Yeah, let's do a strong dark pulse. See, I, I just needed to Get rid of that guy. Magnemizer. Does that work on anything? That seems to be a chest that's moving around, which I'm very interested in. Oh, there's a Voltorb. <laughs> Hello. Uh, 
This seems bad for my Pikachu. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna run. I love these areas so much. Um, so I do know that there is a specific, like each, each area has a Pokemon that will only show up in the distortion fields like this. And I don't know what they are in all the areas, uh, except for the Crimson Mirelands, because I, uh, did that one. I, my suspicion is that it's this guy. Here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna catch it so this goes faster, is my plan. Oh! Okay. Um. I don't want to kill it. Let's do this. We're going to do Togetic. Oh my god. Brutal. Uh, Pikachu it is. This is rough. Just let me go. Oh my god. Come on, man. <laughs> Finally. All right. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball. I just, I just like want to give this the best shot of working. Great. I already have one of those. It's fine. We just took it off the field. That's gonna be not very effective. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do nine tails. I just got to... I just got to not kill it. There we go. This is my theory in terms of who the special Pokemon in this area is. It's very possible that it's not, but I don't know. They just they just seem different. I've also not seen one anywhere else. I don't have space in my satchel for that item. Okay, what is this? A Dawnstone. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna want to revive all these people. The battle UI rules. <laughs> it's good. This is a good game. They did a good job on this game. Nice. 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 All right. Um, let's see. Is there anything that I feel cool about getting rid of? Yeah, I could just get rid of those. It doesn't matter. Uh... I'm gonna hold on to the sticky glob. That's that seems interesting. Yep. We, we wanna do all of them. Uh Peppa plant I kinda wanna hold on to. Yeah, I can discard that. Uh that I can also discard. Okay. Let's 
see, getting stardust and stuff. Very helpful. Oh, now we're talking. Hello. I would like to not die before I move. Great. Uh, gonna use Venom Shock. Poisoned? Not poisoned. That's scary, actually. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use like Venoshock Light. I think Gengar's gonna die here. But that's okay. As long as you don't kill the Jolteon. Jolteon learned Venoshock. Gengar, it's been an honor serving alongside you. Um, Pikachu. Dark Pulse. Scary. Oh, man. All right. Um... Would like a Jolteon. Ah. Oh. I can't look. This Dusclops is gonna kill this Pikachu. Oh. Okay then. Ultra Ball? Oh, man. It gets dicey in these dimension rift things. Right. Togetic is part flying. That really sucks. Um, all right. I keep forgetting Decidueye is no longer part flying. It's actually very helpful. For instances like this. I would like to try and use this again, please. Oh, beautiful. Okay, Hex isn't going to do much because I don't have a status effect. Um, I actually want to fight you. Uh, air slash leaf blade. I'm gonna do leaf blade. I'm gonna do very strong leaf blade. Again, there's another situation where like I just need to survive. Thank you so much. What's that stardust? Got a Magmar. Hmm. Any more items hanging out? Oh, shit. What are we, this guy? Yeah, I hear something. You're coming home with me. Whoop. Yes. 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 
Great, great, great. Great. I don't need that. All right. I didn't know I could do this in these areas. <laughs> That's much easier. Okay. Uh, what is this? A ball of mud. That's very important. Very important to get a ball of mud. Uh, yeah, magmar I don't need. Amber palm I don't need. You know what? I think I'm done with this rift. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that Navy. Okay. Wow. That was pretty wild. Goodbye. Um Wow, what do you even do after that? I do want this medicinal leak. Thank you. Uh, I got a Gligar. I got a Gligar over here. I don't have space for a Vivichoke. Actually, that's, that's another thing that I find very important. So, oh shit. Let's uh, take that. Do I have enough space for that? Uh, I can feel good about getting rid of smoke bombs. To make room for apricorns, which are actually very important as well. All right. Some mischievous over here. That's fun. Hello. I like that ghosts in this game make like ghost noises. Oh, hello. Nice. Good. Okay. I don't have space for. Sky tumble, that's fine, actually. See, that's the thing that I could never find, and now I have an overabundance of our sky tumble stones, which are used to make the feather balls. Um, so here's like a whole area I haven't been to yet, but honestly, I have so much stuff in my pockets that I feel like I should like go back here. Kind of like take stock of everything that's just happened. Uh... First of all, I should heal up. Uh, and let's just like dump all this stuff in here. A lot of stuff. I have to buy more Satchel spaces. Uh, let's do a little crafty. A little, a little crafty. Oh, crafty, crafty. Just a little bit of crafty. Okay, uh, you I'd like to talk to. So we can uh, put some friends in here. I'm gonna put Togetech in here for now too. Crafty, 
Cranor Dose I feel like should come with. Uh, should we bring Nose Pass too? Would that be fun? That'd be a fun move. Does Gligar evolve? I don't remember. Hmm. Either way, Voltorb. Voltorb seems like a fun one. Yeah, we're well represented on the uh, electric type front, but why not? Um, and who else? I feel like we should like get something different in here. Psychic? Gengar's not psychic. Yeah, okay. Psychic seems fun. But alternatively, could just throw a caution to the wind. You know what? We, we actually don't have any don't have any water types. So I'm going to bring Tentacool just for funsies. Am I a Tentacool fan? I wouldn't really say so. I don't have anything against Tentacool, but, you know. Oh, there's something in here. The Heracross. Hello. I'm going to use Sword Dance. Do strong style iron head. How's that do? Use aerial ace. That's interesting. I'm gonna use a regular ass pokeball on you. Just a real normal ball. How embarrassing is that for you? Oh wow. That was fast. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's sit tight on evolving Kranidos. I want to see if there's anything I should uh, do for it first. C for Kranidos. Times you've seen it use ancient power and number you've evolved. Okay, so... Uh, Let's take a quick look here. Got merit points. Nice. Um, I meant to see. Do you have ancient power? You do. We'll get rid of bite. Make room for ancient power. All right. Use ancient power. Evolve. And uh, see where that see where that takes us. All right. Now, did we determine that there was not a way up over here? I'm not so sure anymore. Because this sure does look like. A possible way up. I just have to, uh, you know, do a little Skyrim me. A little crafty. <laughs> That's not even funny. It's just funny to me. Uh, come on. Come on. I forget if this was a fruitful endeavor last time we tried this. I don't think it was, right? Didn't I go up here and then it ended up not being useful at all? Yeah, why don't we just go the long way? Why don't we just give up? You know? Quit fooling ourselves into thinking we're strong and capable people. And just give up. I do want to catch another Sneasel, though. I'm going to throw the feather ball at it. Or I'm going to throw it right over its head. There we go. 
Oh, nice. I actually didn't think that was going to work, so I just had another ball at the ready. Hello. Sneasel is so good. Nice. You know what? Why not? Oh, hello. I mean, his ancient power. That does not do much. We're gonna run away. And uh, I think, do I still get, I still get that, so cool. Now we can evolve. Wow. So much progress on this stream. Progress forward. That's that's what that looks like? That's the evolved form of that Pokemon? That's a, that's a silly guy. That guy. I don't want to be too. I want to. I don't want to be too mean, but that's a. That's a. That's. That's silly. That's a silly. Uh. That's a silly guy. That's all I'm saying. I do think that thing evolves again, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Um, so, I'm gonna try and get towards that eventually. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, let's go up here. And just see real quick what's uh, in this area. Anything new? Anything worth picking up? We got some Voltorbs. One of those little ghost Pokemon. Got a Rhyhorn. That's fun. But uh, all in all, I think I can pass on this area. I will throw a Voltorb down there, though. Get some Apricorns for me, because that's very important. Whatever this leaf is. All right. Um, I want to go up. I think is is my thing. Uh, that I really thought that was going to be a death blow. Uh, I was not optimistic about that. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so we we went over here and then got sidetracked. I think rightfully. Uh, but, I mean, you know, there's a big temple up there, so I feel pretty obligated to check it out. Also, there's snow here now? Ah, oh, shit. Um, that's an Electabuzz, which I'm very interested in. You're level 55. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's a great hit. I'd love if you got caught. You have like no health. 
That's upsetting. I could have hit you, and I chose not to. I'm going to give you another shot, though. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's the right choice. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Bleep. Bleep. Tentacle. All right, I really want this Electabuzz. And I will... I will do things to get it. Like throw a berry. Check that out. I used an Ultra Ball. That's how serious I was about that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, what level are you? 53. Okay. Battle time. Um, I'm going to use Strong Leaf Blade. And we'll see how that does. Oh! Brutal. Don't want to get spoiled on the game too much. Just want to say I found your podcast recently. I absolutely love it. Oh, thank you. Trying to finish up Chrono Trigger so I can listen to the episode all the way through. Keep up the good work. Thanks for you. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for listening. That's very nice of you. Um, yeah, outside of, like, the areas, I'm trying to not spoil uh, anything that's going on story-wise in this game, but uh, I understand if you don't want to stay tuned in. Uh, also, thank you for subscribing to the channel. That's very nice. Wow, look at this area. What a cool area this is. Damn. I wonder if there's like a pure snow area. Oh! Hello. Oh shit. Oh god. Uh. Gengar. Well, I hope you enjoy Chrono Trigger. I'm using um, strong style Venoshock here, specifically to try and poison it, and that didn't work. So, <laughs> cool. Uh, what to do? Here's what I'll do. You know what? I'm gonna put yeah. I'm gonna put an electric type out. And uh, I'm going to use Swift. And I imagine that won't kill it or even hurt it that much. But it, yeah. All right, come on. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Get in the ball, stay in the ball. Oh! I love it. I love it. I love when they get in the ball. I love when they stay in the ball. It's perfect. It's a beautiful thing. Great. Yeah, how can we get another one? Ah, uh, shit. All right. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to run. We saw the big guy. And uh, that's all that needed to happen, really. What's your deal? Hello. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. 
Okay. Uh, like ever? Or can I check it out sometime? I kind of hate that this is where my mind is going about this game. I mean, I don't really that much, but you know, there there is a little twinge of like eye rolliness about it. But I am excited for like what will probably be really fucking cool DLC for this game. I feel like there's absolutely oh foggy zone. I feel like there's absolutely no way that there's not going to be DLC for this game. Uh, and I'm excited to find out what it ends up being. Hmm. Like really skirting the edge of the area here, huh? Alright, hey look, we found this area. E. Almost uncovered the whole of this map, which is pretty cool. We're at the Clamber Claw Cliffs. Which I'm excited about. Uh huh. That was pretty cool, actually. It was a pretty cool little maneuver. All right. All right, just be chill. Oh, shit. That's not chill. What level are you? 42. All right. We gotta, like, pull out the real, the real guns here. Magic leaf. Should do it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Graveler. Didn't leave me much choice, unfortunately. Oh, nice. Got one of these things. Got a vivid choke. Yeah. One. I wonder when Tentacool evolves. Oh, look at that guy. Hello. Oh my god. That was amazing. Can evolve. Look at that timing. Beautiful. Wait. It can't evolve right now. Oh, is that because it's... There we go. Now you can do it. Let's do it. You either die cool or live long enough to see yourself become cruel. that I ever hit this thing. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, really? Dude, I can do this all day. Oh. Oh. Fuck. That was so good. Hell yeah. What a good video game this is. That was so cool. Ugh.
I really appreciate the more intense evolution animations compared to previous generations. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the decision to uh, make their eyes glow in like a kind of like scary way was uh, inspired. It was an inspired decision. This the area down here that we're looking at? Yeah. Uh, wow. With that, I think we've covered the whole of this area. Oh, wait. It's actually just this spot down here. Let's, uh, let's head down. Try to not die on the way. This is fine. Hello. Actually, I do want all of you. Oop. It's hard to judge distance sometimes in this game. Nice. Uh, how about this? I would love to have caught you. Great. Hello. Oh. Are you shiny? I don't want to fight you. You're just a little guy. You I want to fight. Um, yeah. Uh, well. Yeah, let's switch to Voltorb real quick. Use Energy Ball. See where that ends up. That's good. Voltorb, you really took one for the team there. Proud of you. I'm sorry you had to die in the process. Uh, I'll switch to Tentacruel. See some, see some combat. Okay. Um. I'm going to use the heavy ball. I don't think this is a shiny. I think... I think it's just a situation, because uh, if I recall correctly, they have different markings if they're male or female. So that might manifest. As like fully different color schemes when uh, they evolve. Uh, so this is it, right? This is the area? Oh wait, I, I need that medicinal leak. Every medicinal leak is important to me. So hard to come by for some reason. Here we go. We're in uh, the area we wanted to be in. Is there anything of note here? Hmm. Picked up a wood. Oh, there's another wood over here, actually. The Vivichoke over there. Also in high demand. Um, I'm actually curious. It seems like they've modeled the top here. Dude, what? Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on up here. 
Let's start with this Gumi in the water, right? That is a Gumi. And then there's a crow gunk over there. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Little surprises everywhere in this game. Nice. Let's see if I can nail this guy from here. Yeah, you should stop for a second. Do a little dance or whatever that was. Great. Okay, you I'm totally uninterested in scrapping with. Oh, oh! Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Incredible. The new ITA mascot. I was surprised Crow Gunk wasn't on the episode thumbnail. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, sometimes we say what the episode art is going to be and stuff and the title and, and stuff. And we'll like say it mid-episode, and then uh, listening back, you just get attached to other things. Uh, for example, I immediately had like I just immediately knew exactly what I wanted the episode art to look like for the last episode. The some randos PC thing, like as soon as, because uh, usually what happens is AJ is editing the episode, and then we'll send along a list of episode title ideas um and i read some i think it was just called like uh some guy's pc or something um and i immediately saw it in my head like i knew exactly what i wanted it to look like i knew exactly where i was gonna get the art assets for it uh i knew what font i was gonna use like i it just like very quick, uh, although I did change it to some randos PC because it made me laugh. Um, but yeah, sometimes that happens. But I, I, I do think uh, won't be the last we see or hear of Crow a Gunk on the podcast, if I were to guess. Jimmy Neutron Brain Blast, except it's for podcast art shit posting. That is how it works every week. <laughs> Um, man, I think I'm done with this zone uh, from a non-story perspective. So this has been my loop, by the way. I guess just to be like perfectly clear about it. My loop has been, I unlock a new area. I see as much of it as I possibly can without doing any of the story. Um, and then I do the story, and then it's done. So after this stream, uh, which I think I'll probably wrap up in a couple minutes, after I do a little, like, housekeeping with all the Pokemon and stuff, turn them all in. Um, I think um, at that point, I'll uh, see why these people are hanging out at the exit of this tunnel here. I wonder if I can hit this Parasect from here. That was a great hit. I deserve that Parasect. That was messed up. They should have given it to me. Oh. Peppa plant is important as well. Um man, I think uh Are you trying to fight me? Is that what's happening? Yes, okay. We'll just leave you alone then. Uh, 
I do like the idea of a Stantler at a higher level. It's good. Man, I'm about to turn in so many Pokemon. This is going to be great. I'm going to have so much money. Well, I am almost out of Great Balls, which is very sad. Because they are my favorite. Wow. Hello. All right. Wow. What a fun area. Uh, let's teleport back to camp. And turn in all the stuff. The reason Nintendo consoles, uh, is that Nintendo is a bigger company in the Pokemon world. When Nintendo is in charge, you know, the only way to store your Pokemon would be some third-party fan-created website everybody shares instead of something official. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's, uh, let's revive everybody. I caught 50 Pokemon. Hell yeah. That's a lot of money. Nice. Yeah, let's take a look at this. This is what I'm most curious about. Am I going to level up? Yep. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue my excursion for a minute. Because uh, I have to take a photo for the thumbnail. Oh. Let's, uh, let's actually do this. Oh, I like that. That's a fun. Yeah. Great. One of those will work. Hello. Hmm. I don't really like the surrounding stuff with this guy. It's very busy. I'll take the picture anyway. All right, let's head back to the village. Wow. What a trip. Uh, I don't know what your deal is, but very conspicuously showing up. We'll talk to them off stream. I do think the important thing is to end this stream getting my seventh star. Hell yeah. Getting towards that top. Very exciting. Get some new stuff. Gigaton balls. What? All Pokemon will obey your orders reliably now. One apricorn, two black tumble stones, two iron chunks. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, look at that. I guess the next rank will be a third version of these feather balls. And then I wonder if there's a master ball in this game. Like, is that even a concept? You, I actually do want to talk to. I gotta upgrade my pack a little bit. Um, so I know this is a very silly way to be ending the stream while I spend all my money upgrading my satchel. But uh, I am gonna wrap up. This has been very fun. I'm glad I got to check out the Coronet Highlands. Coronet Highlands? Highlands? You get it. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching this on Twitch, thank you so much for being here live. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, listen to the podcast, Into the Cast Out Online. I imagine there will be another probably lengthy segment about this game in the next episode, if I were to guess. Um, and uh, I don't know. I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>